Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor got another shave of the day and today we're going to be using Sterling's Hot Apple Cider. Yes, it's very festive. After Thanksgiving and now we're moving up to the Christmas time. I was like, I'm in the mood for, we put our Christmas tree up for the first time in like three, maybe four years. It's like, it went, it was up. Like, okay. Alright, so in here we got a Ooh, what happened there? Oh, yeah, it's gone. No, it's here. It's just a puck inside. I need to squeeze this back inside there. It's like, it's flopping around. It smells pretty good, though. So, a little bit of hot apple cider. And it was an empty uh, sterling tub. All right, so, here we go. We got Astro Blades. Second use? I think it's a second use. Ah, uh, I forgot. All right, so then we got the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89 for the shave. Oh, how's your day going? Mine woke up going, oh my God! You know, that, that type of thing. So, I'm like rolling over in bed and going, oh boy. It's like, I'm awake now. Somebody sticks the knife into your back and goes, hey, good morning. Not a good morning. So, hey. Yeah. <sighs> Too much time in between getting injection shots. It's like, well, we have our process. That takes time before we get to the next one. Well, if you get off your ass and uh, hit me more s often... Uh, to take care of the problem. But no. When you're dealing with insurance and a bureaucracy of uh, medical, yeah, life sucks. But, you know, what can you do other than live in agony? Anyway, it's like like beating your head against the wall. I don't know if you noticed, I had a little spot right there. It's like I shaved yesterday and it's like I had a bump and I went, <laughs> just shaved it right off. Why does this feel weird? Yeah, that is weird. What is going on here? Hmm. Readjust the blade. There we go. There we go. A little better. I felt like it was like one side was, it was, the blade was slightly angled in there. Like, oh yeah. I could tell. Like when you feel it, like one side's a little more aggressive than the other. It's like just slightly out of kilter. I don't know if you can do that yourself. It's like you feel something, it's like, Something's a little wonky. Yeah, you know, speaking of a little wonky, yeah. You know, uh, my wife gave me a. Here comes the heat turning on. An early Christmas gift. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting mixed messages from my wife. All right, let me see, see it right there. Oh. Or she sits me down and says, all right, we're, we've been spending too much money. Okay, I've been trying to not spend a lot of money from our previous conversation we had some time ago. Well, yeah, you, you, you sp you've you spent a little bit of money on this, this, and this. And like, yeah, because I, I wanted a new motorcycle jacket. Bought that. Uh... You know, last fall I spent a lot of money on my motorcycle, but I sold my ATV to pay for these things. That was a lot of net zero. I did spend a little bit of money before the back incident on some gaming stuff. I bought a new, well, uh, they call it a 
American Airborne, and it's bolt for a game called Bolt Action. World War II. I bought an American Airborne Army with some accessories to go with it for my Normandy campaign or Market Garden or Bastogne. And then I bought uh, an Italian army for North Africa. Plan on getting into North Africa. Campaign for the British versus the Italians and uh, Germans. So I spent a little money there. So then she sits and like, "You've been spending too much money on this stuff." It's like I, she super analyzes everything. It's like when you're married to a math teacher, she looks at everything. She likes crunching numbers. That's her that that's her jam. It's like you spent this much here and this much money. Okay, yeah. It's like wanted a little bit of uh, new entertainment. I mean, it's not very often I do such things. Plus, I'm saving up money. I was like, I'm not spending very much because, you know, I want a new motorcycle. Well, we can't afford a motorcycle. Like, okay, why? Well, we got this much debt here. Okay. <sighs> we had this conversation, guys, before. It's like, everybody says, just do it. <laughs> just go get it and be done with it, and she can forgive you later. Or divorce you with it, too. But you still got the motorcycle, right? You know, I would sell my other motorcycle to, you know, help pay the, the cost of the other one. It stands a reason, you know. And I've been thinking about selling my 69 Cougar, too, just to help pay for the other one. But, so, after getting all this, uh, we're going someplace with this, where she's like, can't spend money, can't spend money, giving the riot act, getting the riot act. We got this much debt here and here and there. We got, you know, we got to pay this down. It's like, okay, I knew this, yeah. And one of them was like, well, we have a lot. We got a uh, credit card that we use that gives us a big bunch of money cash back for shopping at uh, the store, grocery store. And that's what she wanted me to use instead of a debit card. Started this like three years ago, and she told me how much money was on that damn thing. Now, I'm like, you're shitting me. I thought we were paying that off, everybody. Well, I couldn't pay it off every month. Like, and why the hell were we using it? Like, well, we got money back. I'm like, okay. <sighs> Let's just put it this way I do all the grocery shopping. Due to inflation since 2020, basically 2020, 2021. Where I remember the days when I could for shop for a family of four back in around 2010, 12, 35 bucks a week. I could feed a family of four because I buy just ingredients and I'd cook everything. That's the way I, you know, I don't buy box stuff, I cook. I'm a very good cook. And now that same amount of food costs me about 120 bucks a week. That's how much inflation is. Everything's gone up that much. Well, it's stored our standard, and I guess we have a little bit of credit card now. But we're going someplace with this, right? And I was like, okay, I didn't know that. I'm going to try to figure out how to skip someplace else. You know, it's like just the bare basics, you know. And I did this before, start cutting back on what we eat. And try to just cut, cut here, cut there. Yeah, you, know, you know, like one thing used to buy uh, kibbutz. You know, like make potato soup. You know, potatoes now it's like six bucks a five pound bag, which used to be like ninety nine cents. That's how much. Uh, stock of celery, roughly about four bucks now. What used to be about seventy nine cents. And kielbasa, which I put into it, along with the onion, onions now run about four bucks a, a bag of onions. And the kielbasa runs about six bucks now, which used to run 
uh, by $1.99 or $2. You know, it just shows how much it's gone up. So, okay, I'll try to figure out more ways to cut out of the budget. Save some money. Well, now I know these things. Wish you had told me. Ugh. And so, got I got the right act about not spending money. She asked me the other day, it's like, uh, are you able to shovel snow? You think you'd be able to? No. It's like, there's no, no freaking way I could do that. Not even possible. It's like, okay. And I, and back in, uh, was it August, early September, I sold my, uh, snowblower that I had. It was a single stage. I hated the damn thing. She wanted it, so we got it. And I was like, no, not possible. I can't do that anymore. We lived kind of on a hill. It was like a pain in the ass. Single stage. So I sold it for a couple hundred bucks. Got some good use out of it. So she's like, well, are you able to shovel some? No, I'm, no, it's, it's not possible. I have a hell of a time just bending over now, doing anything, any torquing or twisting was a pain in the ass before. Is that quite? And she's like, if you're, it's like, why don't you go and, and look at snowblowers as I was looking at places and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it's just like, it's just too much. You know, we're, we're talking. Eleven, twelve, fifteen hundred dollar for a freaking snowblower, and I was like, "Good God!" It's like the last time I went shopping for a snowblower. It's like you could get one for like four hundred to six hundred dollars. That shows how much the damn thing went up since the last time I looked at him. And I was looking online. It's like, yeah. He said, "Well, if you get a, wanted to get one, what would you get?" I was like, oh, "Let's get this errands. That'd be the, my choice." But there's no way we could afford that. It's like twelve hundred bucks, like. Okay, yeah, you're probably right. And then the other day, she's like, well, I'm going to go get my hair cut. And it's like, well, the truck's in the back. It's like, eh, just take the truck. We'll move flip-flop things when you get back. No big deal. So she was out, got her hair cut. And she said, I'm coming home. I'm like, okay. She comes home and it's like, I need your help. I'm like, what do you need my help for? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're, we're flipping vehicles. Like, I go grab the keys to the other vehicle to help flip-flop in the driveway. And I'm like, what's in the back of the truck? <laughs> like, what's a snowblower? Happy Merry Christmas. <laughs> like, uh, didn't we just have a conversation about this? <laughs> about not spending money. She bought me a freaking snowblower for Christmas. Like, woman, you're going to drive me crazy. <laughs> because she doesn't want to shovel snow at all. She'd rather buy a snowblower so she could go out. Or I can still go out and blow the snow with my bad back. <laughs> it's like, that's her thought process right now. That's how much she had once did not want to go outside when it's cold. Oh my God. It's like whenever you'd have a, a blizzard or something going on, you got a lot of snow coming down. She would just say, I don't want to go outside. You go take care of it. And I can take it. <laughs> Be out there for an hour in the blowing, freezing weather. Just so I can take care of the uh, snow. So... Yeah. Let's see where this went. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I see how it is. I can't spend any money, but when you want to, it's okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. Anyway. 
That's a dragging nuts. Marriage. It's a battle. <laughs> For those of you that live in the South, that don't worry about these things, you're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've already had our first so far. We got about three inches a while back. It was, yeah, it was the weekend after Thanksgiving, which is kind of cool. And then it promptly, within about three days later, we, we dropped down to... I think it was like nine degrees Fahrenheit. Got pretty chilly for November. Then it warmed right back up. We're, hey, we can go outside in our t-shirts. <laughs> Iowa. Don't like the weather? Stick around a few days. It'll change. Like a yo-yo. Ugh, banana. I had a banana for breakfast. I'm tasting it again. Ugh. You ever have those where you eat a banana? It's like if it's too green, it tastes woody. Then you get that sweet spot time where a banana is just perfect. And it could be a day later that you'd eat one banana on a day, and the next day you go eat another one, and you're like, ugh. <laughs> too ripe. It starts getting that acidic taste and it comes back and attacks you. Now, still want to get my motorcycle. I'll get done. Maybe what I do is just sell my other bike first. The only problem is we're in that season where people don't think about riding their motorcycles. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say this is a pretty festive scent with this soap. A little bit of cinnamon, clove, apple. Oh yeah, very nice. Freaking gnat. Yeah, get them every once in a while. Brought all my plants in before the weather got cold, and you know, I get a few gnats floating around every once in a while. Things that come in with you. you find them every once in a while. Go, ah, die, you little bastard! There we go. I think we're done. Whew. Okay. There we go. This is not going to be fun. Ah. Feel the pan already. Mm. Whew. It's like having a bowstring for a leg. Every time you, you go to bend over, it's like... Oh, it's tight. It's like I woke. That's one of the things I'm telling you. When I woke up this morning, it's like it rolled over and it doing like something with a knife in your back. And you're like, oh no, that hurts. All right, ooh, that's smooth. All right, got a little bit of old spice. The old standby. I don't have a splash with this. Should probably get one sometime, but you know, it's like I don't very seldom ever use this, so 
a little bit stinging right here. Smells good though. Ah, cedar. Yep, Old Spice, good stuff. All right, so the shave of the day. Oh, there's a affiliate link down below. Did have a couple people over the black because uh, Razor Company did their uh, Black Friday sales going on. So I had some people order some product. So got a little closer to that mark. So we had, so hit the affiliate link down below if you want to get something from the Razor Company. Okay, here we go. We got uh, Sterling's Hot Apple Cider. Man. Good stuff. I like the smell. I don't know why I don't use this more often. I get, it's at the bottom of the of the stack down here, buried so that way it probably doesn't get used very much. Alright, so we had the Astro Blades, uh, second use, with the Edwin Jagger DE89 Razor. Provided a great shave. Alright, so there you go. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and... Rusty out.